Hey guys, how you all going? Oh, wait a second. Oh. Yep, okay. Lights on. Right, um... Damn, that is bright. There we go. Uh, right, now where was I? Ah, okay. I know it's been a while, but, um... Well, yeah, we, um... We came, we came close to getting another wet butt, but... It's all good. Didn't happen. Well, not that I'm aware of yet. Um, work did a, a preemptive um, clean out, but uh, we spent most of the day today bringing it all back. But um, a lot of guys couldn't get in because roads were cut and so forth and so on. So um, yeah. But uh, anyway, all's good. All's well. So uh, yeah. So. Bit of an update. Alrighty. I have got a base built for this one. Oh, here you go. So, um, yeah, just slap something together. And, um, yeah. Got, there you go, kind of stands out behind my, sh on, on my shirt. But, uh, all the standing rigging's been done. So, I've got all the four stays, all the back stays. Next is just some little fiddly bits around where the stays were that would have made it too hard to do the stays. And then um, throw the sails on and throw the decals on. Decals, decals, potato, potato. Who gives a shit? Anyway, um, so yeah, and then put it on the base and that's all done. But, Neo's garden for something for me. Aren't you, Nate? Neo. Oi. Yep. Okay. She was. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just used the place, but I had to rip everything up really quick. So, I've got another small box. Just a small one. Oh. So, um, yeah. The pug, the Mayali in Italian, and it's the uh, basically one of two versions. So you can either do 30th anniversary or 73 version. So I'm leaning towards the 73. I'm not much for um, you know jizz and jazz and all that dribble. So. Um, I'm gonna do that one, and um, yeah, uh, pretty pretty nice kit um, for for a hobby boss kit. It's actually not too bad. Um, that over there, um, yeah. Uh, I've had a flick through the sprues, and yeah, I'd have to say it is. A very very clean mold so um, yes but just to show you something really nice got some awesome awesome engine detail there you go um, some big shooty things some small shooty things. Uh, cockpit details pretty pretty fine too, but there are lots and lots of um, um you ah oh, put it this way. You do it the easy way. I'll go straight to this. So. That's, hang on, get it together. Further that one. And then get the glare off at numb nuts. That one. But what I really liked was this bit. This is 
the actual fuselage comes in its own own little box. With eight, eight, careful, knob jockey. Clear spurs. That um Yep, I can see through there nicely. More clear bits. And the pièce de résistance. Oh, that is hard, but they're not flubber, but they're rubber. And then we got uh, what's this? Ah, top half of the fuselage. Then we pull out this one, and then we have the bottom of the fuselage. So yeah, and um, real real fine like I can I can count rivets if I want to because believe you me every little fixture is there so um yeah man this I, I reckon when when my skills get better um yeah, I, I, I don't know, eh? Because, like, this... I mean, the I've had a look through the manual. And, um... Let's just say... Um... I noticed... Monkey was... Or Plastic Monkey was, uh... Complaining about how they weren't... Like, he was... Working on a... I think it was a... Hedgehog... A10, and you're saying, oh, it's showing me to do it on this side, but it's not telling me I've got to do the same on the other side, and um, I've noticed over time, the more, sorry, I've got to stop shaking the table, my bad, the more, uh, the higher the skill level, the less the instructions go into detail, because they're counting on your modelling ability to be a decipher minimal information when it comes to building, like, you know, people that know how to build planes or, you know, no plane components back to front, like, while I'm watching Plastic Monk, I'm sitting there and just literally, as soon as he starts to make a little mistake, I can pick up on it because I know a, a lot about vessels and I can just literally see just from glancing at the plans or the, at the instructions he's got laying on the table that straight away like particularly with the funnel I was screaming at the tablet language warning for fuck's sake it's backwards and upside down but anyway I digress sorry plastic monk but I was mate and I couldn't I I had to go have a shower, mate, because I did. I pissed myself laughing in the end. Um, they're decals, and I'm not going to break them out because they're in a sealed bag. But they look very thin. They look very thin. So um, I've got more in here. And, um, oh, yeah, oh, wait a minute, oh, uh, let me think, you know, I think, I think they're going to be nice, nice and thin-ish, so they won't be, you know, too lumpy, so, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, um, I'm sorry, I've probably bored you all to death, and, you know, you probably... Now I seek. Yeah, you two kayak on seek. Rats. And unfortunately, these ones ain't build rats. They're annoying ones. But there's a lot of fodder around at the moment, and productivity's high. 
it's all good. Dogs are bored. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, yeah, so that's that. It's, um, I mean, yeah, no, nah, the, the, de the detail in some of this stuff is really not. Nice. Right, where was I? Sorry, guys, I forgot to clear space. So, um, yes, where was I? Uh, detail, yes, right, so, yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, a nice kit, um, it's a, a length of 483mm, and, uh, wingspan maximum, 236, as, as you know, the, um, the folding wings of the F111, so you could tuck it into a, two, a 215, um, I'm not sure how difficult that's going to be. Um, I'm really thinking about seeing if I can do that. Um, I've sort of flicked through the pans and I've actually seen the piece that you put in that will basically locks the wings in the outside position. And if I can somehow find a way to... Uh, delete that piece but still have like a, a screen maybe using a, some nice fine cloth or something like that and have it painted up and so that you know you could actually fold the wings and it'll just fold out of the way and I don't know I'll, I'll have a think about it but um, yeah anyway like I was saying it's a nice kit it I mean yeah if I uh, it's a shame that they've actually put so much detail. Um, there's actually sections in here underneath the cockpit and it's got a complete, there's a complete bloody radar assembly in the nose, nose cone itself. Um, like I said, I've already flicked through the plans and there's actually panels that we, we assemble on the cockpit and that hides um, the electronics bays which you actually put in in behind it and then you know paint it all up and then you cover it up so um, I might try and get tricky with the um, stick on stick off glue so that you know you could get a like a wax pencil or a stick with some glue tack on it and bingo look but um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, uh, when it comes to aircraft, this is sort of, you know, I can slap them together, give them a coat of paint, make them look pretty, but doing stuff like Mad G, I don't know, but mind you, in the hands of the Mad G, I reckon this thing would be fucking awesome. Yeah. Just, yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to go because I've got a storm coming, I've got dogs chasing a rat, so it could get ugly very shortly, which means I'll have to do a clean up, but that's alright, just burial at sea, feed the eels, it all works out in the end. Um, oh, and if you've made it this far, I've got... Uh, a little just you know if you like small lizards and insects yeah I'll throw it on the end there and um, yeah just you know, a little bit of stuff we've got wandering around the place so yeah alright guys with that said I'll get out of here and um, yeah till next time be good or be good at it alright guys bye ok guys we've just had a little lizard come and visit us it's only a little one. Where are you? There you go, buddy. That is a goanna. This one's about four foot long. And they're really good climbers. They're a part of the monitor family. 
unfortunately the sunlight's not helping in here, but yeah. Get in a little more. And let's go. Beautiful markings. Sorry guys, I'm trying really hard to stay steady. But They love eggs, so that's why he's hanging around. The old chooks. Hey, buddy! I recognise you from your tail markings. Anyway, guys, just like to tell you that, and um, yeah. Till next time. Be good, and be good at it. See yous. Oops. Here's a, another little interesting creature. Um, hang on. I'll just move, I'll move a bit. Alright, let's focus. Just to give you an idea, that's my hand. Right next to it, so. Yeah. These guys, we... I don't, I don't know, don't know what you call them over in the States and that, but we call them stick insects because they basically pretend to be a stick hanging in a tree and yeah, they do their thing. Alrighty. Well, like before, I've got lots of uh, interesting critters around here. And uh, yeah, as for the goanna, you don't want to get bit by them bastards because uh, yeah, their bites, um, lead to bad infection so um, again like I said they're a monitor so yeah they're related to the Komodo dragon alright well we'll let this guy go because we don't want to let the birds know he's here because uh, yeah there's um, three course meal there alright guys see you.